Hello, my name is Caroline, and thanks for joining me for another video on my YouTube channel. Today is part three of three, where I am featuring a micro bit and connecting it to my Raspberry Pi. Now, if you missed weeks one and two, I do highly recommend you go back and watch those before you jump in here. We are going to pick up right where we left off. In this tutorial, I'm going to assume you have your Raspberry Pi set up and connected to your micro bit, and you are ready to add the Raspberry Pi camera so you can take a selfie today with your micro bit and Raspberry Pi. I will link to parts one and two below. Please go and check those out. Otherwise, let's get started. The materials you need for today's project are, you'll need from last week, your Raspberry Pi connected to your HDMI monitor, your mouse and keyboard connected to your Raspberry Pi, the Raspbian system completely set up. We use something called MU that we downloaded and installed last week. We've got our micro bit right here. Additionally, you'll need uh, three of these jumper cables. These are alligator clips jumper cables. I've got red, black, and green here. And then also, of course, you'll need your Raspberry Pi camera. It does come with a ribbon to connect it to your Raspberry Pi. Let me connect that right now. And the way I know how to connect that is we are on the Microbit Selfies tutorial. Now it says connect the camera and the Microbit. I've clicked on that. We're going to click on getting started with the Raspberry Pi camera. And then we're going to click getting started with the Pi camera connect the camera module and there is this nice image here that raspberry.org put on their website and it tells you how to connect the ribbon cable. Now for the camera, you're going to want the blue side on the back and then the contacts facing the camera. So that's already connected. And then for the Raspberry Pi, you want the blue side facing the output jack and the uh, contacts facing the HDMI cables. To install this, pull up on this black connector here and then push down on my ribbon cable and insert it right in between the black connector and the white plastic and then push down on both ends of this black cable. And so it should fit very nice and securely into my Raspberry Pi. I'm gonna back out now and get back to our micro bit selfies tutorial. You'll also need two jumper cables that are male to female jumper cables. This will go right into the GPIO pins of your Raspberry Pi. For my setup, I'm going to need something to hold up my camera with. That, that's something I kind of noticed was a little defect about this project is I didn't have a support for my cameras. Got this clear base and I've got a little clip and I'm going to set this up where the camera is facing me. Here we are going to learn how to set up a Raspberry Pi camera, how to use input output pins, controlling GPIO with Python code, controlling the camera module with Python code. Let's keep on going. So what I'll need, I've just went over that. And in the last video, I did do a sudo apt get update and sudo apt get install mu. So if you have missed that step, just go back to the last video and let's go through that before we go on this camera project here. So I'm going to assume you've already done that because I covered that last week. Let's make sure that we can use our camera with our Raspberry Pi. There is a setting. I'm going to go to terminal and I'm going to type in sudo raspy config on a terminal. I showed this on a previous video on my channel on how to set up your Raspberry Pi. If you haven't seen that, please go back and check that out. But essentially under interfacing options, I need to make sure the camera is enabled. Yes, my camera is enabled because of the yes. I hit enter. It is enabled. Yes. And I'm going to hit finish. I know I went through that really quickly. If you need to go into that in more depth, I recommend that you check out the Raspberry Pi Raspbian operating system video. I've got my Raspberry Pi camera set up with my Raspberry Pi here. And then now I need to connect the micro bit trigger. Okay. And I thought this was a lot of fun. Basically you want to take your green jumper cable and you want to connect it to the male end of your jumper cable and you want it to connect it to GPIO pin number four, uh, which is the fourth one down on the side that is closest to the CPU on your Raspberry Pi. This one right here, I've got that connected and I want to connect that to the number one of my micro bit. Connecting the number one contact from my micro bit to my GPIO number four on my Raspberry Pi. 
on black I'm going to use for the ground which is on the far right and then red I'm going to use for zero on the far left and that is how you need to connect that now when I started going through this on my own before I started recording this video I was very curious as to what the red and the black was going to be connected to uh, in order for this to work and I kept on looking for another connection there you're gonna touch the connections in order for this project to work I thought that was interesting that they did it that way next we're gonna program the micro bit trigger go back to MU and we want to have a new program and we want to save it and we're going to call it micro bit dash trigger dot py and once again you do want to note where you save things to first line should read my, from micro bit import I'm going to copy and paste that and I'm going to close out my file from last week right and then the next line says while true so we want to create a loop we're creating a loop while true what are we going to do okay um, while true if the pin number zero is touched I'm going to display say cheese and then I'm going to sleep for 500 and then write digital sleep for 5001 write digital zero okay let's put that in I made a mistake on my code sorry all right so if one is true then we're going to do all this stuff I need to save that flash that all right, so the co code has been copied to my micro bit. And now the way this works is it, they want you to make a connection between the red and the black. And hopefully you can see this. Now you can see say cheese. That's what it does. If you connect it like this, it says say cheese. And then it just kind of doesn't do anything for five seconds. That way it doesn't continuously do that. So it's, it's pausing for five seconds. And then you can make a connection with your hand and then it's gonna say, say cheese. So this is our shutter of our camera here. So we've got step one working, excellent. Now let's go back to the tutorial and we're gonna program the Raspberry Pi camera. Now we want to locate and open Python 3. Now that goes into, you click on the Raspberry, you mouse over to programming and then you mouse over to Python 3. And we want to create a new file and we want to name that micro bit dash camera dot py okay so i'm going to save and you want to notice where you save these files of course micro bit dash camera i don't think i need the py i think it's going to automatically do that i'm going to hit save there it is first we want to load all of the libraries that we need for this project load the libraries okay i can do that then button equals button four pull up false that means gpio number four pin number four is default false and we're signing it the value of button that's our, that's as what we're going to call gpio pin number four going forward on this code calling it the button and so what are we going to do with this button it says okay with pi camera as camera we're going to start a preview we're starting the camera preview so that means i'm going to be able to see myself then i want to wait for a press and then i'm going to capture a picture called selfie.jpg and then i'm going to close the camera okay that makes sense the python code should look like that when you get done okay now i want to save my file i'm going to hit file uh, save or control s and then under run you can check your module first to see if there are any errors I did have an error here. It didn't like selfie, so I'm not sure if I don't have if I have the right parenthesis mark right there. I'm going to hit Control S to save again. Run, check module. No errors now. I'm now ready to run the module on my Raspberry Pi. Run module. You can see the camera on my screen on my Raspberry Pi. And now let's see if I can take a picture. And I'm going to hold the two ends and it is saying say cheese on my micro bit here and I'm gonna smile and I think it just took a picture oh and then and then the screen uh, turned off so my camera preview is gone um, and that is how the sample code is supposed to work that's it it took a picture I'm going to hit the file explorer here and I'm going to see that there is a picture called selfie.jpg I'm gonna open it Oops. <laughs> I look pretty silly in this picture all right, excellent. So that was the project. That is the entire tutorial right there. Are you ready to stop? Or do you, are we having fun and we want to keep this going? Let's, let's keep this going. Now, if you look at my code, you'll notice that it always is going to capture the file name selfie.jpg. Next time I take a picture, and hopefully I'll take a better picture next time, I'm going to run this code again, and it's just going to overwrite the first one. Once again, 
say cheese. And I'm gonna look hopefully a little bit more relaxed in this picture. I'm gonna go back to the same folder. Selfie, do I have another picture? Yes, I have a different picture. It just overwrote the same picture over and over again. But this is really just for educational purposes. But if you were interested in changing the selfie picture every single time we're having selfie zero, selfie one, zero, selfie zero two, selfie three, that's a exercise that we could do in this video. I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna call it the selfie folder just for fun here, just for a second. A new folder called selfie. I wanna rewrite the code slightly so that all the pictures go into this folder called selfie and they're all numbered. From the first one I took, which would be selfie zero or one, and then it would increment by one every single time. That'd be pretty cool if we could do that. And I didn't come up with that idea by myself. There is something called what's next and it says create a countdown for the pictures taken. So right now it says say cheese on my little display here on my micro bit. We could change that to countdown 54321 on this display. You could change the file name to increment every single time. Let's go ahead and try to do that right now. Let's see. Oh, and the other thing that kind of didn't make sense to me is touching two leads as the, as the trigger. <laughs> Why not just use the button? I mean, we learned that in the last episode, it's just to press button A. So instead of pressing the two leads, why don't we just press button A? That's another little change I'd like to make personally to this project. So let's start with if pin zero is touched, display scroll, say cheese, sleep 500, write digital. Okay, so instead of the say cheese, let's do three, two, one. And then instead of 5,000, five seconds, let's do three seconds. But um, instead of pin zero, I'm gonna disconnect my, my pins. I'm gonna use this A and B button instead. How do I figure this out? Okay, so I'm just gonna go to another project. Now I'm back at week two of, of my previous video where if button A is pressed, I'm just gonna copy that code from last week into my MU file here. So instead of if the pin is touched, I'm gonna say if Button A is pressed. I'm gonna display scroll three, two, one, sleep 500, write digital uh, for three seconds, and then uh, write digital pin one, uh, which is still connected down to zero. Turning pin one on, turning pin one off, which translates into GPIO pin number four on our Raspberry Pi. Save that, I'm gonna flash that. I'm not gonna to touch the two leads anymore. And that's just personal preference. It's, it's just, I'm just kind of going off on my own now that I've completed the project. Let's see how that works. So I'm gonna run module, press A, three, two, one, and then it takes a picture. And it's still taking the same picture over here, selfie. Instead of touching two leads, I can just press button A. Small improvement that I have elected to make to this project. The big thing is, how do I make it where it saves it into separate files instead of just overwriting the same file over and over and over again? For that, I'm gonna go to my GitHub page, Caroline Dunn. And I started working on this yesterday and what I figured out was that we needed to import OS. That was the first change I need to make, use a new library called OS. So I'm gonna add that below import sleep. Now what is OS, uh, you ask? Well, great question. Let's go back to my page here. OS, we are going to use something called OS path. And that way when we look at the path, we always check the path, check the folder, see what selfie pictures are in the folder, and then increment by one. And the code to do that is while the path exists, check it, and if there is a picture and then there's a number behind the picture, increment by one, and then use that. So we are going to do that. So instead of camera capture, I'm going to make this. And then the indentation in Python is very important. While OS path exists, we're gonna increase by one and then camera capture. One more thing, I forgot to define i as zero. You do need to define here variables. Let me fix that, i equals zero. Control S to save a five. Let's try that again. And I'm pressing the A button and it should count down three, two, one. All right, it took a picture. Let's check that out. So now we're gonna go into this folder called selfie and there's selfie zero. And there is my picture for selfie zero. Let's try this again. So to run it, F5, and my picture should come up. I press A, three, two, one. And then it should take another picture. So go back to selfie. Now there is a selfie one, and that's the new picture I took. So I can keep on doing this, but now it doesn't keep on overwriting the picture over and over again. There's, there's so many different options with this, so many different little changes you could make. I think you'll have a lot of fun with this. Not to mention that there are lots of other projects on this website 
And let's see, let's go back to microbit selfies. Not to mention there are tons of other projects here that you could look at that you, all you have to do is go to microbit and there are more projects that you could do here. There's Meteorolis project, Bitcraft, Micromine. I think this is kind of a play on Minecraft. Have fun with this. I hope you found this video educational. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye now.